Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in Tarot Land. This is your girl Zengaya, the Zen Libran, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Narcissistic Abuse Tarot. How y'all doing out there? What's going on, ladies? How y'all doing? I hope y'all uplifted out there, and, you know, peaceful and not allowing anyone to steal your calm because they trying to steal it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they working on the chain gang trying to steal our peace. You know what I'm saying? They hook. Huh, looking ass, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they're just so ridiculous, y'all. I'll tell you the truth, you know. On my channel, guys, I draw um, a lot of feminine energy that has drawn, um, that has gone through um, a lot of uh, traumatic experiences with narcissists. And I use my gifts to tell these experiences through tarot. And by sharing these experiences publicly, I hope it offers some counseling, some guidance, some healing to women going through this. You know what I'm saying? And I want to give thumbs up to the ladies that have gone through this with a narcissist. Men too, because um, it's, it's rare for a woman to be a narcissist, but we have plenty of them. They cuckoo as hell too. It's not just the men. We got some cuckoo ass women out here too. You know what I'm saying? But um, going through an experience with a narcissist is the most traumatic thing anyone can go through. You know what I'm saying? And we don't want anyone to go through it. But the way to conquer a narcissist is to love yourself, ladies. So turn the love toward yourself. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we've been uh, a long time going, um, focusing on everybody else, see, making sure everybody else is all right and nobody is pouring back into us. And we suffer because of that. We get emotional. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we gain weight because of it, because nobody cares about us. But what about you caring about yourself? That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the, and if you care about yourself and love yourself, you can conquer anything. You sure won't be affected by no narcissist. You'll be vibing so high that they won't be able to victimize you. they just a little minuscule little peon. You know what I'm saying? So love yourself, ladies, because you are divine. You are the empress, and you need to get back on your throne. You know what I'm saying? Know who you are and know thyself. All right? All right, y'all. You know, if you follow me, you know that I check in with my soul family, each member of my soul family, and let them tell me about what's going on out here in the ethers. Now I'm checking in with my angels, and my angels are coming forth and telling us what's going on out here in these ethers. Okay? All right? And the energy for this particular um, reading, this message for my angels, is the Earth Mother. The divine wants you to feel loved and comforted, sweetheart. Giving you everything. Resources. You know what I'm saying? Resources. You know, the divine is taking care of you. You know, that masculine energy, which is the universe, is taking care of his woman. You know what I'm saying? He coming through. You know what I'm saying? You know how it is, uh, ladies. You know, these, these men... They don't come when you want to, but if it's a good man, he's there right on time. You know what I'm saying? And he makes sure you have everything that you need. Now, you, you, um, somebody wants to talk to you. Somebody wants to come in your life and be that man that gives you everything that you want. You know what I'm saying? That wants to love you and make sure that you're comfortable. You may be receiving a message from this particular person. You know, um, this person this person wants to be in union with you. He wants to have a unity with you. He wants to unite with you. He's uh, kind of nostalgic right now. He's having memories about you from the past. And he wants to have a rebirth with you. He wants to try to a do over with you. Because he didn't like it the first time, the way it went the first time. You know what I'm saying? And he's planning on coming back towards you hot, heavy, and suited and booted in the winter. Okay, that's what I just got. All right, this is the Earth Mother. This is the Earth Angel, and he trying, he coming and get you. You know what I'm saying? Love's gonna get you. Love's gonna get. Love's gonna get you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's kind of scary, ain't it? <laughs> Who coming to get you? The devil? Who coming to get you, girl? This person is like got. I'm feeling some Mars energy from this person. He's very much attracted to you. I mean, very hot for you. So, my goodness, girl, Persephone. I just heard. Girl, the devil coming to get you, girl. <laughs> love's going to get you. Love's going to get you. Love's going to get you. Girl, protect yourself. I mean, girl, what? You know what I'm saying? Protect yourself. This is the Earth Mother giving us the energy of feel love and comfort. Oh, my goodness. Girl, 
I mean, girl. And of course, you know, like I say, this is the Goddess Channel. I'm all about empowering women, getting women back to their empress status, being being a goddess that they are in the inside and showing it on the outside. And I got my power of three ladies up here to help me bring in some feminine energy to the letter of this message from my angels. And the first one from the power of three that I pulled is Athena, giving us the energy of wisdom. The earth angel knows she's wise she's got clarity about this bitch that's been spiritually attacking her this raggedy bitch you know what i'm saying this is somebody that is caucasian um the earth mother is um melanated and this one is caucasian she thinks she's better than the earth mother the earth angel she thinks she's better and she's been battling spiritually attacking this earth angel okay but that's okay that's okay this person um this person has been using tactics to try to control you to try to stop you from moving forward in life this is a bitch that's definitely in her shadow side and in her soft node um but you've gone through a transformation things are going you know things are going to change you know things is changing this fall now this is the fall so things is changing right now Okay, this cycle is over as of now. Okay, this bitch lost. You lost, bitch. You lost. It's attacking you, just attacking this earth angel with her raggedy, stank ass. You know what I'm saying? Because she thinks she better because she's white. And she feels that this earth angel shouldn't have this position. Bitch, who is you, bitch? Nobody, because you just got your ass whooped. You lost, bitch. Attacking this earth angel. Who is you, Karen? Who are you, Karen? Yeah, this earth angel knew what's up. She wise to you, bitch. Karen, you know what I'm saying? This is Athena giving us the energy of wisdom. Karen, you know what I'm saying? Get your ass out of here, bitch, with your musty ass. You know what I'm saying? And then we got my girl Pele here, giving us the energy of determination. Yes, honey, you, you, you have some type of, your job is in broadcasting and communication or something, something on the internet, something you're seeing. Um, in the past, whatever you were doing in this field uh, has been suffering and you were in lack, but now there is a spark that's being renewed. There is, you're going through a renewal. And this is happening because you were determined you were determined to keep on going. You know what I'm saying? You did not let this person stop you. This person was doing spell work on you, slowing you down, but you kept on going. You know what I'm saying? Move you kept moving forward slowly, but you kept on moving forward with this this raggedy bitch up here. You know what I'm saying? I know that's right, Pele. Thank you, baby, for giving us this energy of determination. You know what I'm saying? She thinks she's the bum because she's a white lady. You know what I'm saying? I, ha I don't like women like that. And I have no problem with uh, people with other races. But this is a racist right here. And I'm going to call a racist out when I call a racist out. How dare you think that you're better? <sighs> Y'all think that uh, Freddy Krueger, um, Nightmare on Elm Street, Part uh, 3 is better than Part 1? No. Bitch, you is a sequel, and you not even the, the, the part two, part three. You part four or five, bitch. You know what I'm saying? So get on out of here. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Then I got my girl Oba here. She's giving us the energy of domesticity. You know, Oba, she comes through when things is clogged up. Things is not flowing properly. She, I call her Drano. I call Oba Drano. So she just goes in and she just unclogs that, you know, that clog, unclog that pipe and things just flow through freely. This is over. This is what she does. You know, people, when people are doing a project or having a business or something, they're trying to start something that they want to be really big. They go give offerings to Oba so things can flow. You know what I'm saying? That's that's her job. You know what I'm saying? So she's here to make things flow back in this divine feminine's life. And you can have all your wish fulfillment. All your wishes are finna be fulfilled. 
You finna have a happy home. You're royalty. And you finna be so peaceful. Because what the divine says so. And it's yours. And you deserve it. Regardless of what this Karen says. You know what I'm saying? Who is she anyway? You know what I'm saying? Ragged ass. This is over. Giving us the energy of domesticity. I love this. I love this, y'all. I love this. Let's get this tarot out here. Let's get this tarot out here. And see what's going on. And see what's going on. See what my angel's talking about, y'all. I get the regular deck. I get the regular deck out here. I'm telling you, man. You know, I don't know why these women of these different races think they are better. I'm going to say black women. We're not black women. Black is not a title, but I'm going to use it for social reasons. Um, why y'all think y'all better than black women? I mean, who told y'all? I mean, that's the society. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this world is so backwards. Those that are on the bottom are supposed to be on the top. Now, y'all take that and marinate with that. You know what I'm saying? I have no problem. You know, um, I talk about my friends all the time. You know, I made a video about my crazy-ass friend <laughs> that uh, that was mad at me because I didn't tell her that my uh, other friend had a, a bucket in a utility closet, you know, and you know, and she cracks me up. You know, I'm over her house constantly drinking tea with her. You know, I don't see her as being white. I just see her as my buddy. I mean, if she one of my good friends, she cracks me up. She's a damn fool. You know what I'm saying? So I have no problem with the other race of women. You know what I'm saying? And um, so why do they have a problem with us? That's something that's innately within them. That's just the uh, it's that's in their DNA to be envious and jealous and you know what I'm saying that's because they uh lack of melanin that's what I think it is is lack of melanin matter of fact that's what I know it is you know what I'm saying but y'all need to stop that you know what I'm saying ladies you know um we need to learn from each other and come together and grow ladies and we need to stop that thinking that we better than the next you know come on man we need to come together that's what the men do that's what the men do. We're not of that, ladies. We're not of that combat and fighting against one another because my race is better than yours and I want my race to rule. I mean, we're not of that. We want everybody to be happy and peaceful. That Let the men do that. That's not what we do. We don't fight for that. I mean, can't you see that the world has been destroyed? Plenty of worlds have been destroyed because of that behavior. And that's because men were in control of everything. But ladies, this is our earth. And we, we, we kings, you know what I'm saying? King is a verb. That means to rule with love. You know what I'm saying? So we need to stop that. You're not better than her because her skin is different. Obviously, the divine doesn't think so because she's being honored and blessed. And you ain't, bitch. All you do is got must patches under your arm. You know what I'm saying? So how you going to be better than somebody? You know what I'm saying? I mean, get your ass on out of here, stinky lady. You stink. You know what I'm saying? Get on out of here. You know what I'm saying? Thinking you better than somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because of the skin you in. You ain't got no melanin. How you going? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. You know, you know. sit your ass down somewhere. Calm, calm down. You you ravenous wolf. You, 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 you act like you're a rabbit. You know what I'm saying? You got rabies or something. Calm down. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna, um, and this energy that I'm feeling, I'm not bringing down the whole race of white women because it's not the whole race. It's just this jackass right here. You know what I'm saying? And I hope that the uh, uh, other um, women of, of my race, which are melanated, when they be out here acting stupid, I hope that the white women don't think that all women of their race act that way because it's of one. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know who the hell she thinks she is, but you're not better. Look at how you act. <laughs> Come on. What we got out here? What we got out here? Yeah, somebody is aware. Yeah, this uh, Earth Mother, this Earth Angel know you've been attacking her spiritually, bitch. And you jealous, bitch, with your coconut head ass. She know it. She know your coconut head ass been doing it. She's aware of it. You know what I'm saying? She ain't stupid to it. You know what I'm saying? She, you, you just don't bother her because you just a peon. You know what I'm saying? What we got out here, y'all? What we got out here? Well, like I say, you, you got some type of platform that you own or something. I mean, you're coming out of financial ruin and you're going to be seen across the world. And you have this little immature person over here that's watching you. 
watching you be the star that you are, and they're focused on money. You know, um, you're coming out of financial ruin and you heal from all these attacks that this raggedy, stinky, ashy foot bitch been putting on you. You know what I'm saying? Now you're working, you're working and you, you're stacking your coins and um, everybody's whatever work you're having, you, you finna stack some coins and you finna be seen across the world. And these people wasn't able to manipulate you. They didn't wasn't able to make you to submit. I mean, you didn't bag down from these people and you healed. You know what I'm saying? And whatever you're doing in work, it's finna bring you a lot of pinnacles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this person um, that's watching you um, be this star. Uh, you didn't submit to him, and he. They was. You, did, this person is trying to. This this weak person, this young-minded, immature ass person that only concerned about money, um, couldn't didn't couldn't defeat you, couldn't beat you. You know what I'm saying? Couldn't defeat you, and but this person didn't want you to be free. This person did not want you to be free. Um, this person is uh very much attracted to you. Um, he thinks you're very much attractive. Um, you could be a, like I say, you could have your own business. You, you sitting on the platform. Um, you could be doing something spiritual. I see the, um, um, my, my vision is drawing towards the, uh, sunflower, you know, sunflower represents uh, prosperity and abundance. Um, and then I'm looking at the, the cat, the black cat, which represents spirituality in this world and out, you know what I'm saying? Um, this world and other worlds, you know what I'm saying? So in other realms, so. I'm looking at you and you're just, uh, this person wants you to be interested in them. This person wants you to be interested in them. This young uh, uh, male. Well, if he's not young, he's um, immature. He wants you to be interested in him and you're not interested. <laughs> you're not interested and he wants you to be interested. Uh, you have no feelings for him. You have no feelings for him because he's a tyrant. He was in war with you. I mean, him and his woman collaborated together and they were attacking you spiritually. You have no feelings for this person, but this person wants to come and give you a love offer and he's hiding a lot of things and you're not going to accept his love offer. You don't want nothing to do with him. He knows this and he's unhappy. He's unhappy. And he showed on like that he can't be with you and you working and being seen across the world. Yeah, this person was attacking you because he's obsessed with you. This person wants to come towards you and tell you um, how he feels about you. This person is also horny. He could have a porn addiction. You know, um, you heal from this person. I mean, I don't know what this person was attacking, um, your business, um, your finances. Yeah. This person is attacking your finance because he's obsessed with you. He was obsessed with you. Mm-hmm. He's obsessed with you. And he was in cahoots with this, with Athena here, this ethnic woman, which is Caucasian. He was in cahoots with her. And they was teaming up. They teamed up on you, and they was attacking you. Yeah, they was attacking you. She's attacking you because she thinks that you don't deserve your position because you are melanated and that she should have it. She wants to be with this masculine and this masculine wants to be with you. She wants to position with him. She figures that she should have it instead of you. And this masculine is trying to be with you. She wants your platform. She wants your money. She wants your man. She wants it all. She wants your destiny. She wants your life. And she feels you shouldn't have this because of the skin you in. She's a Karen. And he done got with this Karen they could be in a man married or in a kid and money relationship. He done got with this Karen and they start attacking this feminine. She for her reason and him for his reasons. Yeah. And, and this, this, this feminine is very much aware that this couple has been attacking her, bullying her. You know what I'm saying? Being deceptive, trying to control her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, ridiculous. But they're not going to be able to bully her no more. These are two immature people. It's the end of this. It's the end of this. You know what I'm saying? And everything is from the flow in your life right now. There's nothing that they can say. There's nothing that they can do. But watch you. And that's what they're doing, watching you rise as the star that you are. Let me pull some energy out here, y'all. These people are crazy. See, the, the last full moon 
has renewed you and this has this has opened a portal for you to be refreshed to be renewed and this has stopped this magic from happening to you this spell work from happening to you by this couple yeah yeah this 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 masculine feminine and from the past he wasn't even you gave him a chance even though he wasn't attractive he was unattractive and you gave him a chance and he thought that he was better than you and thought you was unattractive girl ain't that ain't that something ain't that something you gave him a chance in the past even though he's unattractive and he didn't want to do right by you so you left him alone okay he went on with his life and he got with this Karen here you know what I'm saying and um he sees you on the rise so here he come back in your life after he done chose to be with this Karen you know what I'm saying so here he come back in your life bringing his ugly ass back in your life when he the one that didn't want you but now he wants your money you know what I'm saying he chose this woman, this Karen up here. What I tell you, I told you she got musk things under her arm. He chose this Karen with bad hygiene. He chose a woman with bad hygiene over you, even though he wasn't even attractive and you gave him a chance. See, we're not shallow. We look within a person. You know what I'm saying? So you probably like this personality or something. And he had a nerve to uh, pick a Karen over you, a, a Karen with bad hygiene. Okay? <laughs> but... Durga's here, and Durga is here, the goddess that wants you to, rep she represents boundaries. Um, keep your boundaries from this particular person. Don't let this person back in your life, not even in your energy, because these are opportunities, and he's coming around just to, because you're uh, well off financially, you know? Yeah, this person, this masculine has been reporting your platform. He's a hater. He's been reporting your platform. That's why it slowed down. Yeah. That's why it slowed down in the past. Yeah. Um, whatever you're doing in communication in the past, you were suffering. But now it's going to be a renewal. Yeah, it's a renewal because they slowed it down. They sabotaged, sabotaged your business. Reporting your, kept reporting your platforms over and over and over again. And these people, these people, um, if it's YouTube, man, they need to be ashamed of themselves, man. But why they gonna slow your stuff down? I mean, what, what, you know? Man, this dude is a man, bitch. He's a Mitch. He's a Mitch. He's a Mitch. Yeah. No, 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 no. This woman is a man, bitch. And when I say that, I want to say. This is a female who's bisexual. She's very, uh, she's a stud. She likes women. She sleeps with men, but she prefers women. So we got a stud out here with bad hygiene that has been reporting your platform to get it taken down with her stanky ass. Can you spell scope? Can you spell Listerine? Can you spell Monastat 7? with your nasty ass. You know what I'm saying? Spell that. You know what I'm saying? Girl. Overnight celebrity. You're going to be an overnight celebrity, honey. So keep your boundaries from this person. You know what I'm saying? And don't worry because all the time, whatever platform you got, this, this stud, this man bitch going to be in the background, this Karen, reporting your platform because she's a hater. Keep your boundaries from this woman with bad hygiene. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I'm looking at this differently now. Maybe this masculine gave her a chance, even though she was unattractive. Because Karens usually are. <laughs> and she's watching you. Watching your platform. She's always watching you in the, in, in the phone. And she sees she couldn't beat you. But she don't want you to go ahead in life and become this and become what who you are, the Queen of Wands. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. If she wanna get with you, it seems like she wanna get with you. Because she wants you to be interested in her. She wants you to be interested in you. See, I'm pulling this male energy, but I'm pulling feminine and male energy. 
And this is a stud that's interested in you. This is a Karen that's interested in you. And she wants your life. She wants your platform. She's dealing with someone from your past. She's sleeping with them. They could be in a relationship. And they teamed up together to attack you. Because these people wanted you to be in a three-party situation. She wanted you to be the third one, the third wheel. See, she's more into women than she is into men. Now, she's with a masculine that you was with in the past. She was getting on his masculine nerves to get him to come and, get, and to get you to be with them. She wanted you with them. And because you didn't take a love offer and you weren't interested in being in a polygamy or polyamorous relationship with them, she started attacking you spiritually with him they wanted to sex you up that's what they wanted because of this abundance because of this spark that you have because of this platform that you have that's going to bring you wish fulfillment because of what you have because of your finances they wanted to bring you in on a family they wanted to make a family with you him and her mm-hmm and when you refuse to, there they came, they start attacking you spiritually, they start attacking your finances. So you've been going through a lot of, you know what I'm saying, your business wasn't moving as it should be. But Oba's here, she's finna clear that up. Kelly is here, the energy, the determination, you finna bust through something, honey. You having a breakthrough. Keep your boundaries. Because you're going to be overnight celebrity, now you've probably been in hermit mode. And you've been in Herman mode. Um, it's get, actually getting it, you used to being a celebrity because celebrities, you know, they can't go out in public. They get bombarded by people. So they live a separate life than regular people. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically how you've been living, like a celebrity. It, it, this is training you. You know what I'm saying? And this stinky woman, bad hygiene woman, want to sleep with you with a stinky ass? And she mad because you want to sleep with a stinky ass? Her and her dude. Girl, these people crazy. These people crazy. These people crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what to say. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what to say. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a couple more um, cards on this and we're going to close this up. We're going to close this up, y'all, because you're going to be all right, feminine. Everything in your life is going to flow. You're going to have all your wish fulfillments. You've been renewed and, 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 and it's the end of your suffering, um, having lack financially. Whatever business you have uh, in communications is going to bring you a lot of money. You're going to be working pretty hard and it's going to bring you a lot of money. And these two people, I hope they just go in the abyss. You know, they got mental problems. You know what I'm saying? Um, so don't worry about these people. The divine has you. The divine has his hand on you, honey. And, um, uh, it's harvest time for you, okay? All right? It's harvest time for you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm proud of you, sweetie, because I know it wasn't easy fighting these two people. You know what I'm saying? You've transformed and unveiled your gifts on this platform or something that you have. I don't know what it is on this platform. You've transformed and showed your gifts, you know, and I'm proud of you. Um, you've moved beyond ancestral patterns, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, you broke some um, ancestral curses, some generational curses of not being in this, in this connection, and I'm proud of you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you moved above uh, ancestral patterns, which you had a pattern in your family of uh, women being impoverished. And um, you're the first one in your family. I mean, you, you're going to be the first millionaire. I mean, you're going to kick impoverished in the ass. You know what I'm saying? And you breaking this generational curse off your family. You know what I'm saying? Um, these people are bullies. Him and her. Look at them. Him and her. Look at Karen. You know what I'm saying? They bullies. Um, and they mad because you're going to be an overnight celebrity. And they're going to be eating Spam and buying the sausages. Okay? You are a warrior. You're fearless. And you standing strong. And if they want it, come and get it. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, girl. I feel you. Well... 
this is what I have for my angels. My angels have spoke, honey. You're going to be an overnight celebrity. Everything these people try to stop uh, is going to flow for you in your life. And you got this money coming in. You're going to have a new beginning. All your wishes are going to be fulfilled, and I'm so happy for you. These people have lost. They've lost because you rejected them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, enjoy your transformation this fall. This fall is going to be really nice and abundant for you. So enjoy yourself and make wise decisions, okay? I love you guys. And as I always end it, ladies, please know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. I'll see you ladies on my next reading. Y'all be easy out here, okay? Bye-bye.